Head for flatness. See what's happened. We had a blown head. It's all been cleaned. It hasn't been scraped. It's just been cleaned. We lay a machinist straight edge across the edge. We'll make several measurements. Standard edge. This is seven thousandths of an inch. Um, my specification would be four thousandths for this one. So we'll start here. Usually you want to start in the middle and see if it falls underneath. Right here we are underneath, but not on the edges. We'll move in near the middle. Way loose in here. Come to the outside edge. Pretty tight here. What you don't want to do is measure across the hole because it'll go through a hole. Makes sense. Turn it at an angle. Measure again. You already know we're loose here. Make note of where it's loose. We're just checking for loose. I'll show you how to get the measurement. Turn it. Come here. Check. Come here. Check again. Don't drag the straight edge. Lift the straight edge and move it. So we noticed that we had a big loose area in this area here, which we can see from all this standing anyway. I'm going to put my straight edge back this way. I'm going to increase the size. I measured this earlier, so I actually know about where I'm at. There's 14 thousandths. Slides on there pretty easily. Starting to get some drag. There's 17 thousandths. Doesn't go. So it's just a go, no go. And now just to show just what that would look like as a quick check. You come down to the side. And you can see significant light underneath. In this area here. And over here. If I move it back near the edge the light's pretty much gone away. Better like that. Again, back into here. So there's a quick check.